Hi guys, Rob here. Uh, I just wanted to do a little video about the impact strength and conditioning ha can have on skill development. Now, traditionally when we think of strength and conditioning, we think about improving jump height or sprint speed or fitness throughout a game. But what I wanted to talk about was actually about how we can use strength and conditioning to improve technical skill. Now essentially, the way this comes about is by improving the opportunities to practice your craft of the sport. So be that tennis, basketball, football, rugby, an athletic skill, the best way to improve at your sport is to practice your sport. So in order to do that, you have to be available to practice your sport. So that means, first of all, you need to be free of injury. So if you're carrying an injury, you're either probably doing training in some sort of modified state, so reduced, say, static skills, for example, or you're not able to train at all. Perhaps you're just doing video analysis or something like that. So the first thing, in order to get better at your sport from a technical point of view, is you have to be available to train. So from a strength and conditioning perspective, that means you need to be free of injury. So one of the best things we can give our athletes, and one of the things that I say to my athletes all the time, is the best ability is availability. So number one, the biggest impact we can have from a technical perspective is by keeping athletes injury free and available to train. That improves the amount of hours they've got to put into their craft, whatever sport it is. A big part of that as well is also improving the amount of work they can do. So it's one thing to be able to turn up at the beginning of a training week free of injury. It's another thing to be able to complete a rigorous training week and come out the back without any issues as well. And a big component of that is improving an athlete's tolerance to work. So for example, an athlete who can only tolerate three or four hours of training in a week is gonna break down if we give them 10 or 15. An athlete who over time has built up their robustness so they're able to complete 10 or 15 hours of technical training per week, it has more opportunities to practice their craft, more opportunities to improve their technical skills, more opportunities to improve as an athlete overall. So there's one thing, injury prevention. The second thing is building up a workload and a capacity. So regardless of improving sprint time or uh, jump height or fitness, actually, we can improve our athletes simply by giving them the ability or the availability to train and the ability to tolerate a higher load of work across a week, across a month, across a year. All those little things are going to add up to that athlete being technically better, which is what is going to improve them the most overall.